I cannot remember, I cannot remember the house where I was born, but I know it was in Waldegrave Road, Teddington, Middlesex, not far from the border of Surrey, an unpretentious abode which I believe economy forced us to leave in rather a hurry. I remember my cousin Doris in party frock, with broderie anglaise at the neck and sleeves, and being allowed to stir the Christmas pudding on long ago enchanted Christmas Eves. <laughs> In tropical climes there are certain times of day when all the citizens retire to tear their clothes off and perspire. It's one of those rules that the greatest fools obey because the sun is much too sultry and one must avoid its ultraviolet ray. The natives grieve when the white men leave their huts because they're obviously Definitely nuts. Bird dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to. The Chinese wouldn't dare to. Hindus and Argentines sleep firmly from twelve till one. But Englishmen detest the siesta. In the Philippines. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Noel Coward. And I'm here this evening at the instigation of my good friend, Miss Marlene Dietrich, to sing for you this very evening here at the Café de Paris. Senorita Nina from Argentina knew all the answers Although her relatives and friends were perfect dancers She swore she'd never dance a step until she died She said, I've seen too many movies And all they prove is too idiotic They all insist that South America's exotic Whereas it couldn't be more boring if it tried She added firmly that she hated The sound of soft guitars beside a still lagoon and then she positively stated that she could not abide a southern moon. And she could not refrain from saying that their idiotic swaying and those damn guitars playing were an insult to her race. And that she really couldn't face such international disgrace. She refused to begin the begin when they requested it. And she made an embarrassing scene if anyone suggested it For she detested it Though no one ever could be keen The little Nina On quite a number Of very eligible men who did the rumba When they proposed to her she simply left them flat She said that love should be impulsive London Pride has been handed down to us London Pride is a flower that's free London Pride means our own dear town to us And our pride it forever will be Whoa, Liza, see the Costa Barrows The vegetable marrows and the fruit piled high Whoa, Liza, little London sparrows Covent Garden Market where the costas cry Cockney feet mark the beat of history Every street pins a memory down Nothing ever could quite replace The grace of London Town there's a little city flower every spring unfailing Growing in the crevices by some London railing Though it has a Latin name in town and countryside We in England call it London Pride London Pride has been handed down to us London Pride is a flower that's free London Pride means our own dear town to us And our pride it forever will be Hey lady, 
When the day is dawning, see the policeman yawning on his lawn. The heat of noon is just what the natives shun. They put their scotch all right down and lie down in a jungle town where the sun beats down to the rage of man and beast. The English garb of the English harb merely gets a bit more creased. In Bangkok at twelve o'clock, they foam at the mouth and run. But mad dogs and English men go out in the midday sun. Mad dogs and English men go out in the midday sun. The smallest melee rabbit deplores his stupid habit. In Hong Kong, they strike a gong and fire off a noonday gun to reprimand the inmate who's in late. In the mangrove swamps where the python rums with his peace from twelve till two, even caribous lie around and snooze for there's nothing else to do. In Bengal, to move at all is seldom if ever done. But mad dogs and English men go out in the midday, 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 out in the midday sun.